Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with the new Warhammer 40k Evolution, and this time I will go through the different codexes of uh, Astro Militarum, or who was called on in the past uh, Imperial Guard. So uh, we will start on second edition. As I say, I didn't play first edition, so I want to talk about the editions that I played, and this was the book from second edition. So. Uh, I don't know if you have seen my previous video, if you are interested, I did the same for uh, the Chaos and I will try to do the same for some of the armies that I, I played or I collect over the time. So here we have uh, who, the, the type of codex from 2nd edition, they were quite thick. We are talking here about a codex of 112 pages, it was not as thick as the one from Chaos, but it was, quite, um, it was not bad. Uh, mainly it was black and white codexes. And what for me was interesting is how, uh, so they were, uh, what's called this, they were um, all um, rules for allies. And uh, in the allies options, you have Space Marines, uh, Imperial Agents, Elder, and Squads. So when they released this codex, Squads were still in the, uh, an option. So. I don't know what, if they put the date here when this was released. This book is uh, he put nine, 1996, 1996 looks like. So here we have this is the Imperial Guard uh, from that moment. Uh, was quite different from what we see today. So they were well. This is all what they, is in Spanish. So they talk about the different regiments. And here we see the main regiment that they were talking about. They start with Katachan, Kedia, Valhalla, uh, Mordia, uh, Tayarn, right? And then we have here Attila uh, for the Dorrow Riders, okay? And then there was an explanation about the different units. So we have here the Ravlings, we have the Ogrins. Uh, we have the Roll Riders, of course, the Imperial Guard. Uh, we have the this was the the for the elite, the Tempestus, no, the Milton Tempestus. They were called the Shock. I don't know how it was translated to be fair. So we had also the Psychic Primarius, the Commissars. So we had all what we see today, and then we had uh, here the uh, different options for the, the different um, rules for the different. Weapons. So the weapons were more complex than it is today. And we have here the mortar. Then we have the defense munition for tanks, the cannon, the demolition cannon, the heavy mortar. So this tank this have disappeared in the meantime. Uh, we had also the and the the hair shaker. What was the basilisk? Okay. We have the uh, the inferno cannon. So we have here also the bagels, they talk about the, the sniper rifles, the, the, the reaper weapon from the Ogwins, and then we have here also mixed with, but if we look at the tags as well, the bagels they talk about, we have lemon roots, we have the demolisher, there was only two types of lemon roots at the moment, demolition and the normal lemon roots, basilisk and hound head sentinels, only one type of sentinels. And then Chimera and Gryphon. And Gryphon was the heavy mortar that today I think it's only available for Forge World. Uh, here we have the first uh, Commissar Yarrick. And for me, what is interesting is to look at the miniatures. I have a lot of these Katachan miniatures, but you, you, first you see the heavy weapon teams, the, they were uh, in separate bases, the rules were completely different, and then sometimes. Yeah, the cannon did not have a base. Here we have the Katachan, we have the Valhalla, uh, we have the Tayan, the Mordia, and Kedia. And you see that they are quite, uh, everyone has quite personality, at that moment there was more or less, uh, yeah, only metal miniatures, and these are all the miniatures that most, most likely they were in the collection at the moment. So you have, there was a moment that you have to start repeating because they were metal, and yeah, the plastic did not have multiple. They did not have plastic multiples. I don't know if they had any plastic unit. These are the old rattlings, the roll riders, the old 
fog winds. And so it was quite a colorful, and if you look at the army, they were quite colorful army. So you have some Mordia here, we have the Road Riders, here we have some Kadia, some Katachan. So it was really a colorful army. The moment was more a mix, uh, mix match of the different units. We have here two Lemon Ruses, one Demolisher, this is the one with the metal turret. This is the Hellhound, not the Hellhound, sorry. The, oh, I forgot the name, not the Hellhound, the, the Griffon. This was the Griffon, and this was the Chimera. And here we have more detail on the heavy, this was the heavy metal of the time. So as you can see, it's well painted, but today will not be heavy metal at all. And these banners were just an addition, the heavy metal team did. So we have uh, the normal demon rules, the demolisher, this is the Griffon, what is the heavy mortar, the, the chimera, okay, and then we have also, this was quite interesting, I, I still look at that because these are different ways to do the uniforms, so, and, but was a lot of personality on each miniature I, I would say, and it was difficult to make a cohesive army because if you want to make a cohesive army, well, for example everything they are, you should have a lot of the same metal miniature, especially the last guns guys. Here some organization, fluff, this is more fluff and, and giving ideas and the typical cars for the vehicles that we using we were using on second edition. The map uh, of the of the galaxy I think not as populated as we you are used today and then we have some more um, equipment and some more uh, we have then the, the, the different units you know, they talk about the special weapons so here we see a little bit how this was uh, split we have the this was the ability for the veterans so the vets they had I did not play uh, at that moment Imperial Guard, I was st starting to collect I, I started to collect Imperial Guard on the 3rd edition so at that moment I was not playing and I'm not that familiar with all the all the different rules that they had but you can see when they talk about the, the uh, army list you have to spend 50% in troops of comma up to 50% on command troops a minimum of 25% on troops and up to 25% on allies. So you see it was a very uh, easy straightforward organization chat where these are the command troops where you have the, the, the HQs and the common squads and the, this was not existing anymore the Roll Riders common squad, uh, the Commissar and then we have the Psychers and then we have four levels of Psychers uh, here we have uh, then the normal troops and they start with the heavy weapon teams, the uh, uh, Imperial Guard squads, and this squads that, yeah, these are costing more or less the same, I think. Then we have the, the shock troops, the roll riders, the rattlings, and we have, so if you wanted to make all vehicles, you, you were able to do all vehicles just I am putting one squad of command. I haven't seen all vehicles never on second edition, at least where I was playing. Uh, so here we have all the different vehicles, and then uh, as allies, you can uh, you were able to spend up to 25% on Space Marines, Imperial Agents, uh, Elder, or squads. So allies were quite a thing, on, uh, was quite a lot on 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 second edition, wasn't that strange, but it was not uh, that uh, use were the special characters. You have to ask permission to your opponent to use them, and what we have was the, uh, the, the commander uh, Macarius, the general, the solar general Macarius. We have Commissar Jarrick from the beginning. Macarius has disappeared. This is very weird thing, you see here, this uh, really was uh, very different at the moment. Uh, Nork Dead Dog is the yeah. This uh, have appeared later on. We have uh, um, the Captain Al Rahem. I have him. By the way, the, then we have the one from Valhalla. We have uh, this was quite interesting. The Schaefer, this 
panel is flat. Then we have a special character that was a rattling and the Captain Mogul Kamir from the Rogue Riders. And I think this was just plus 29, plus 29 points on, on, on the uh, squad. Then we have here more about uh, fluff and explanation of how they are used. And here we have an example of 1500 points. If we look at example of army and given by Gate Workshop, so we have a common squad, uh, Imperial Guard squad, uh, heavy weapons squad, rattlings, one lemon rose, and then we have one unit of common squad Katachan. So this were Kadia, and then we have just, just the common squad of Katachan, and then you see that you have, uh, uh, yeah, there were two heavy weapons here, and one, so this is. This was quite interesting, and then we have um, Imperial Guard, not dedicated to anyone. The Imperial Guard had one Sergeant, uh, one Guard with Plasma, one Heavy Weapon Team, six Guardians, and one Chimera. So, and then we have here, the, in the total was 278 points. If you see this common squad, have more than, they have one uh, Psyker, and two Imperial Guards, one Heavy Weapon and one Chimera. So it was quite uh, cool to see how this was organized on, the, on that moment. And here we have Victor, this is the tank that has disappeared today. I don't know if it's available on Forge World, but I doubt that. This was the metal parts, you see? It was a combination of plastic, it was the chassis of the Chimera with metal parts. Lemon Rose and Chimera were full plastic and Demolition was here. All these parts were metal. Okay, and then we have the different codexes that they release. And in that moment, and the Warhammer 40k had a big expansion that was the Dark Millennium, and you need both to be able to play well at the moment. Uh, Warhammer 40k. And here we have the different metal miniatures. And this here we have, I think, the full collection at launch. So you can see. If you have to do big armies of Imperial Guard, you start duplicating very easily the, the Mintus. Okay. So, and that was second edition. From second edition, we went to third. Third was a big streamline. Uh, you see the difference of the book, 110, 48. So half of, half of the size of the book. Okay, and yeah. You see that now they start organizing more the armies by planets. So this is just a Katachan army, and this is a Valhalla army, and here we see the Tayan. And this is a Vanquisher, although there is no rules, so this is the Vanquisher from Forge World. Here is the Vanquisher from Forge World, and they are fighting the uh, Elder. It's cool that they have put a picture of uh, Forge World on, on the Codex. So, we see there is a little bit of, of course of fluff, not too much, uh, and they go straight forward to the army and the organization. So, <clears throat> uh, in 3rd in edition the organization was more strict. We have here the, the explanation of the different equipment they can, they can have. <clears throat> sorry, and then they were no, <clears throat> sorry, they had the, the headquarters units. As well, the organization was what, as what explained was the, the organization chat that we all know or we all use for a long time. That was mandatory one and uh, headquarters and two troops, and then you can add, add and then you can add one additional headquarters for troops, three elite, three uh, fast attack and three heavy support. So what we have on, on HQ was the the command units, and then the command you can have uh, weapons, anti tank weapons. Uh, and it, you can have so you had the command squad and then you can add six more guys with uh, this was the, with um, you can have um, la, how do you call this missile launchers or last cannons or with support weapons that was a heavy boulder or the auto cannon so was heavy weapon teams but they were not there was a unit of six garments okay so you it's like if you take in the old way so you were taking the the common squad then the common squad has satellite squads that was a heavy weapon teams uh, you can have commissars 
And then in the lead we have the vets, uh, the veterans, and we have then we had the veterans and we had the assault troops that was the shock troops or the, they were called no assault troops the military of tempestus we have the ogvins and the rattlings as a lead and then as a support uh, as a troops sorry we had the infantry platoon okay and this is very similar to what we had for a long time where it was composed but here the infantry platoon was only composed by the Common uh, the command platoon plus two to five units of infantry. They were not special weapon units and they were not heavy weapon teams. Uh, not uh, uh, as a unit. So they, you can add one heavy weapon team on each squad, but you cannot have squads of heavy weapon teams. Uh, then we had the mechanized the. Infantry that was one unit of um, garments uh, on a chimera, and they had to take the, the chimera as, as a mandatory transport. As a, a fast attack, we had the Hellhound, just one version, uh, the Sentinels, just one version, and the Road Riders. And then, as a heavy support, Lemon Roots, and was just with the, the Lemon Roots only had the Battle Cannon. Uh, and here we had the Vanquisher, I, I didn't know that the Vanquisher was a but the Vanquisher was, uh, you had to buy it in Forge Wall. We had the Terminator and the Demolisher, so we have two new tanks and you see that the Vanquisher was limited to zero, zero 01. Then we have the Demolisher, the Basilisk and the Griffon. Okay. And then we had again the, the Macarius as a, as a general that you can take. We have the Arik. North deck dog, and then here we have this was quite interesting. We have the uh, the last chance of Schaefer, the Colonel Schaefer last chance unit, and then we have all these schematics about the different uh, engagements. So the different uh, it's like a scheme. If you want to imagine how are the different planets and so how are the engagements from the different planets, you can see also what's all on black and white. And here <coughs> we have the color uh, pages where we have the the different pictures of the units uh, with the here we have all the different uh, units on how to organize your army. So again, ideas on how to organize the army. I think normally they put a lot of attention on, on the imperial guard how to organize the army because what's the most weird or the most different object uh, compared to other armies. Again, um, different um, camouflage patterns, but we still see that there is mainly metal miniatures, okay? They are the same miniatures we had on second edition. They only release the plastic katachan on, on, on third edition. That was the only release. But they, we did not have, I don't think we even have the plastic Acadia at the moment. So it was still a period where mainly uh, the, we, we had a lot of metal in our, in our armies. And here you see, this is really yeah, more modernized, more looking like what we have today. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is more, looks like more what we are used today. Mm, but you see this Ogwin is really... Uh, looks like a joke, this guy. Okay, here we see some conversions. I'm putting this is like a is a is a variant of the chimera. So uh, there were rules to make your own, and here we have the hydra for first time. There there were rules to make your own vehicles as well at this time, to make it rules for uh, to create your own vehicles. So here we have the how it looks like. Okay, so this was. 3rd edition, but in 3rd edition they also launched this thing that was a supplement of Katachan that you need, you need the other, the, you, you, this was not an, a codex alone, you need the other codex and they just add some additional rules for the Katachan okay sorry, no, this is not right, so this was I think you can, let me see I think this was a codex with his own Yeah, if you want to do just a Katachan army. So there were the rules to make Katachan, and then we have the metal 
uh, sniper guys. Okay. So yeah, in case you wanted to do a Katachan army, and here we have. But there really was a codex who much they don't do this anymore. It was a codex of 24 pages. Okay. And here is when they release the and they, they release the plastic katachan. And here we see some of the plastic katachan and some okay. So and then they, they explain you how to do forest. They did not have the, the forest at the time, so they explain you how to do um, trees with wire. And here we see some examples of tables, how to make a jungle fighting. This was a, a golden demon, the, the, I think was was a Katachan woman. The, the, here we have a conversion of Row Rider on a cold one. And yeah, then we have the, the Katachan. And we have here the, uh, this is when appears for first time, the Coronal Strachan, a sly marble. And then they called about, uh, uh, this was like a game about ambushes and yeah, they, they put uh, different different rules here for the Katachan. I did not play this codex, I just bought as a collectionist. And on third edition still, they did not change, they roll up a second codex. Uh, this was, you see, is more on the, form, on, on the latest formats of the third edition, going to fourth. Uh, more color, more, uh, I think this was more colorful, but still they have not full color as today. Uh, we have some uh, pages on um, black and white, but we have very nice arts. And it's again 50 pages, not bigger than the one than the previous one. So we have, this is quite an iconic picture. I think everybody should recognize this picture today. Uh, and But you see now, we have here the plastic and we have the plastic area. Okay, so I think they wanted to revamp and relaunch the and we have the the vision engineer that was not uh, available before. So uh, but they still have the metal guys, okay? Um, and we have the steel legend that appears for first time in this codex. It was not appearing in the previous codex. So these are the guys from Armageddon, the Steel Legion, and here appear for first time. Uh, but we still have uh, Valhalla, Tayan, Mordia. These are the new plastic kits, or well, new at the moment. So you see that the plastic kit of KD is quite old. And we start having here the Armored guys and the and, and Scout um, Sentinels. I'm not sure they split it yet. Yeah, here we see now how they explode the plastic miniatures, the new plastic miniatures, and they show you how to do different uniforms, and they put here the colors that are not the, the good reference anymore, and here it is a good detail that is explain you where to put the different markings of how the Imperial Guard is marking the guys. Okay, this is how to paint the eighth of Kedia, but I guess you can do the number of regiment that you want. Then we go to the army organization. Again, it was the same rigid organization, the same for everybody. Uh, and we have here first the equipment explanation, how the different equipment is working. Then we go to the army list. We have the um, command platoon. And the command platoon, this was a command platoon, not, uh, not a squad. And the command platoon was able to have uh, also uh, support squads and even inside of the command platoon you were able to add um, uh, how it's called these sentinels so we have here you had um, sentinels and you have a special weapon squads instead it's, uh, uh, continuing in, in the HQs we had the psychers the commissars the minister and priests. Okay. And then we have in elite the veterans, the ogrins, the assault troops, the rattlings, and was as elite we had the uh, taxi the um, engineers, the, the mech guys. Okay. As a troops we had just the platoon infantry. We have the conscripts, and then we have the mechanized uh, infantry. 
as, as we had in the previous codec. So they, here what they add mainly was more options on the HQs, the menu the Ministerum priest, the uh, the engine the, the mechanicus guys. Uh, but we still see that the sentinels were just one type of sentinels. They didn't split yet sentinels between his coat and uh, armored sentinels. We have the road riders, the hellhound, only one type of hellhounds. The hellhound also have the metal turret at the moment. And then we had as a heavy support the heavy weapons. Okay, there was one to three squads of heavy weapons. Squads. Uh, we have the Lemon Rus, the Demolisher, the Basilisk, and you see that the Bankisher and the and the Exterminator have disappeared. Okay, so we only have the Lemon Rus and the Lemon Rus Demolisher. So no more Forge Wall here, and if you want Forge Wall, you have to take it from. Uh, you have to go to Forge Wall. Uh, forge Wall was not very used in third edition. Not neither in fourth. Thing. We start using Forge Wall more in sixth edition. Uh, we start, well, they can, we start, they were start allowing uh, Forge World more on 6th edition, I think, on tournaments. But we have Governor Osaka quit for first time with the uh, Sergeant Jarrell Hill. Uh, we have Yarrick, we have Ivan Gaunt. So, if you want to have the, this was interesting, it's, it's a pity that they, they, you cannot use them anymore. But he is even gone from the, uh, for the, uh, the gaunt ghost. Uh, um, uh, we have, uh, we still have the Schaefer, the last chance chef um, of Schaefer, and then we have what they call regiment doctrines. And here, what you were able to do, you have uh, different abilities, and you were able to personalize your army. So there were rules. So there were some troops that were then uh, restricted, and if you were taking some restrictions, you were having some special rules like the the chapter tactics that we have today. The different chapter, depending if you are uh, depending if you are how it's called this um, ultramarines or blood uh, no blood angels, um, or if you are imperial feast, or if, if you are um, black temples. You know that you have the different rules depending on the chapter that you are. Um, uh, belonging, but here we had the same, so you were able to personalize your own um, Astra Militarum Regiment or Imperial Guard Regiment at the moment. So this was quite interesting, they take it, there were some special equipment that you can, you were able to take depending on the background, on, on the restrictions that you put. So you were putting some restrictions uh, at the beginning, so you, you, you have to, so you were able to take so, for example, if you were to do that, all these troops become, um, you were able to do five choices on, on this part, okay? So, and each troop was a choice. So, you by default, you were not able to introduce any of these troops here, listed here. And if you wanted to do this, for example, rallying, you have to take one of your um, five points of doctrine. If you want to use Kamale, um, the, the Camo cloak, you have to take another point from here, and then you can personalize how you want your. And there were different uh, um, rules that were quite interesting. The problem is that, uh, as always happens, when you give freedom, people start abusing. And here we had examples. So if you were wanted to do Cadia, you had these restrictions here. If you wanted to use Valhalla, you have to follow these restrictions here. So they were a special rules. For for the main, uh, here we have the first of, first and last of Tanith. So the, here we have you. So you were able to play uh, if you wanted the Tanith and regiment. Of course, they launched also the metal Tanith miniatures, but they were just one squad. Squad. And we had the, also the rule for Katachan. We had the rule for the dogs, chemics, and the chemical dogs of Salvar. So we have different. Different curious uh, guys, no, and then they, they, they put you here examples. If you don't want to mess up with the different doctrines here, you were able to take some of the examples, and of course, at the examples, they put the main regiment. So we have Katia, Valhalla, Tayar, Mordia, Arma, and the 
um, legend steel of Armageddon, Tanith, the gowns um, of Tanith, and then we have the, the Katachan. Okay, and other guys here. Okay, and here we have uh, all the different terminologies. So this was quite interesting. So, how, um, what are the different terminology of the Imperial Gap? We have the summary. And this was 3rd edition, not even 4th yet. And we go from 3rd to 5th edition, and this was the Codex of 5th edition. This was thicker, 100 pages, so we go a little, almost back to 2nd edition thickness. Okay, it's still called Imperial Guard. Remember, Astro Militarum is a concept that came... Here, here I have the FAQs from the period. Don't need it anymore. <coughs> But this is just looking, no, it's looking more like the Imperial Guard that we are used to see today, right? So, and this is the, the structure of the codex that is, we are more used to, where we start with a lot of fluff at the beginning, okay? A lot of explanation, and here we see again, talking about the Lord Solon Macarius, talk about the famous Imperial Guard regiments, and they talk about the Cadian, the Katachan, Tayan. Mordian, Armageddon, the Bostroyans. The Bostroyans appear, I think, it was in, in between third, fourth. I think they appeared in fourth edition. If you see, there was not in the previous codex. The Attilan, Rock Riders, Elysian Dog Troops, Death Cops appear here as well. The Tanith first and only. Okay, and then we have. And then some of the main battles of the Imperial Guard. The, you know the the map is starting, but you see still black and white, not full color as we are used today. And then they go to the forces of the Imperial Guard, and this was when they were doing the explanation of each unit at the beginning of the after the flap. Here we have a little. Uh, uh, they start talking about the regimental advisors here. So this was when we saw for first time the regimental advisors, where we have the astropath, the master of ordinance, the official of the fleet, and we had the bodyguard that they disappear later on. Uh, we have the company of commander squad, the commissaries, commissars, the primary psychers, tech priests, engineers, no, minister and priest. Then we have the platoon of command squad, and then we have the infantry squad, the heavy weapons, and the special weapons here, the chimera, and then we have the veterans. Whereas when we had the penal legion troopers, these this were just appearing in this codex. Augments, rattlings, roll riders. Sentinels, for first time we have the Scout and the Armored Sentinel. The Stormtroopers. The, and here we see that this more, they are still looking more like what we have to is where the Metal um, Stormtroopers. The Psyker Battle Squad appears here also for first time in 5th edition. And it's when we have for first time the different options for the tanks. And when we have in 5th edition, we start having the Exterminator, Vanquisher, Eradicor, Demolisher, Punisher, and the Executioner. And of course, the Battle Tank. Uh, the Hydra also was here in this codex. The Hellhound, and then the different variants, Devil Dog and Bane Wolf. Not, they were not an option before. And then we have the Ordnance Batteries. And we have the Basilisk, the Medusa, Colossus, and Griffon. The Griffon was still available on 5th edition. Uh, okay. The Death Strike appears for first time, well, they were um, appearing for first time at this scale uh, in 5th edition. And Death Strike was also very popular, was used as well in Epic. So it's a tank that was uh, quite common in. And we have the Valkyrie, and of course the Valkyrie we have the Vendetta that disappeared now from the Codex, and you have to go to Forge World to have the Vendetta rules. Lord Castell and Creed. Knight Commander Pask. We have a new guy that was the Sergeant Baston. We have the Colonel Ironhand Straken. 
Marvu, uh, Sergei Harker, Commissar Yarrick. Commissar Yarrick, I think, is one of the only ones that are from the beginning. You see, uh, the command, the Solar Co uh, General Macarius is not anymore in the Codex. We have, we still have the Captain Alrim, Alrahem, sorry, Chenkov, uh, Mogul Kamir, who is the Road Riders Captain, the Nork. Like so we had the previous ones, that we, um, but Gaunt, uh, the, the Commissar Gaunt is even Gaunt is not any more available. So it only appears in the previous codex. And then we have the War Gear. Here is when I start really playing um, Imperial Guard. I start playing more at the end of the fourth, beginning of the fifth. Is when I start playing, and, the, and here we see. The, the, though it looks like more what we are used to the of the Imperial Guard. Okay, a lot of Cadians, plastic Cadians, the plastic Katachan. Okay, we have here the plastic. The Bostroyans and then we have the different metal regiments. That people cannot collect because it's quite, uh, well, you can collect but it's quite uh, difficult. We have the Vendetta, that was the kit that was launched with this codex. And then they also launched, this is the very old, you see the, the Hellhound was not launched with the code, it was launched later. And I think also the different battle tank variants were launched later than this codex. Okay. And here we have the, the new miniatures, so this was the new advisors that were also together with the Master of the Ordinance. Okay. Here we see the different rules. And how they were organized still, 5th edition was, was quite tight and rigorous. We were still using the same system as 3rd and 4th, and people were not deviating too much, no allies, no formations, nothing strange. Okay, and this is where we are on 6th, and on 6th edition, I think we end up with a uh, 100, so it was the same thing as the previous one. So we have this, and this was the structure of the fifth edition, very similar. Very, but then we is when they changed the full color books from the beginning, and again they start with the fluff. And here we go much faster because you should be uh, Macarius. I would like to see Macarius back. Although it's from another era, will be happy. It will be nice to have him, and you can play other um, times in the flash. But you see, here we have very detailed, very nice um, pic um, not pictures, uh, drawings of the different regiments: uh, Tayarn, Death Corps, Bostroyan, Valhalla, Armageddon, Steel Legion. The Tanis, Elysian, Mordian, and here we have some yeah, about some uh, the chronology and the different blah blah blah. Then we have the the rules, the warlord traits uh, introduced of course in sixth edition, the astro military orders, the orders, these orders were introduced. I think we were introduced in 6th edition, I don't think in 5th we, we had orders, let me check. No, it's made me think if we had orders in this book, but I don't think we had orders. Just checking, I think the orders appear for the first time. On no, we had the orders here, so the orders appeared in the 5th edition. And yes, yes, but here we had again, and then we had the company, command squads, the regimental advisors. So, was quite, I don't think they have introduced a lot of new things with this codex. I think they just relaunched the same units, they did the plastic kit for the, the military tempestus, they changed the name. They changed the name. Ah, they, they put the Taurox, but the Taurox was from the Militarum Tempestus, not for the. Uh, the Will Rain is the same, they just changed the name. And we had all the different tank variants that we are used to the Hydras, Hydra, sorry, Valkyries and Vendettas. We still have both options. 
the wyvern, the basilisk. I think the griffon disappeared here finally. No griffon anymore. Manticores, the strikes, hellhounds, and the different variants of the hellhounds. Commissary Arik, Blockstella and Creed, yeah. And we still have knock that dog. I don't think it's I need to check if it's still there. Uh, in in eighth. And then, then we go to the showcase. Okay, and we see that in the showcase they don't put the vendetta because the vendetta never has that plastic kit. We always have to use the podge wall upgrades. Here we have the, what you see don't know, the Aston Mountain will have really a different, it's looking completely different than we were looking on second edition. Uh, if you want to go back to the video you will see second edition but here you see that the, even I don't think they put, they put very, if they put pictures they put very little, yeah we have, I still have the old regiments here but not too many pictures and they are painted in a more modern color scheme. The only ones that are still a bit of bright, bright colors are the Mordian. Okay, here we see the the, the Taurox was the I think it was mainly the Taurox the new edition and then they, they changed the rally pieces. Ah yeah, the new thing was all the different bull greens, all greens, and all the different options in the all greens. But I was not too much into that. Okay, so this was really the new things were the Taurox. The new Militarum Tempestus that I can see here, and the Wolverines, Ogvins, Militus. But yeah, and the the other thing is that the company squad does not have any more satellite squads. The company command squad. We still have here the the corner strike, and you have to pay one hundred thirty points on top of the squad, so you. But always have is is always being a tricky army where you have some special rules because normally the characters are quite weak and are more to to boost your other units. Uh, the veterans wear troops where when they move veterans to troops from from elite because in the elite we start having all wins, bull wins, rattlings, the psychers. And then we have the, it's when we have for first time the military of Tempestus Platons. Okay, and yeah, and then we have the scout and the armored, the road riders are still alive, but the Griffon is not appearing anymore. So if you have the heavy mortar Griffon, I think, I don't know if in Fudgeball you can find the rules. And that's all. That's uh, my walk through the different editions, so from 2nd to 6th is where Aston Militarum finished before 8th. So I hope you find this interesting, just look the cover, how different this is for me. The two, these two covers are showing different the evolution of the Imperial Guard. From this, that is like comic from the 90s, with these bright colors to this really dark, evocative, so this, this is really... Uh, always imagine no the Imperial Guard. This was more like a fun moment. It was more I think also the 40k have a big evolution for more uh, I will say joke type of um, uh, background to more serious today with more background going into more detail and no yeah being more I think more interesting today. So that's all what we have fine and this is what I want to go through. I hope you have find this interesting and here we have seen all the different codexes that uh, we had over the time on Imperial Guard. Okay. So you see how this has evolved. That's all for now and let me know if you like this series, let me know if there is any army that you would like to see. I did not play them all, I'm thinking to do next maybe Orcs, although I did not play, I collect, I collect most of them. Or I may do Dark Elder, that is quite a straightforward because there is only three codexes for Dark Elder. That's all for now. I hope you have find this, this video interesting. Leave in the comments below what do you think. Give a like if you have liked this video. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye!